Hi, I'm Brenda. Welcome to Mamas Hidden Apron. Today we're doing a fall inspired supper. We are fixing a sausage and apple stuffed acorn squash. The first thing we're going to do, I've already washed the acorn squash. We're going to slice it in half and remove all the seeds. Then we're going to coat it with olive oil, a little bit of salt, and we're going to bake it center side up in our preheated 400 degree oven. Good luck. Okay. I assure you my knife is sharp. This is just a, hmm. A little bit difficult to slice, that's all. <laughs> it's definitely not going down the center, is it? As I expected it would. There we go. There we go, I was just a little off key, that's all. I think. <laughs> I don't know why I always have trouble with these. But I do. Okay. There we go. Now we're going to remove the seeds. You can actually um, keep your seeds and uh, use them for next year's harvest, which is what I'm going to do. all the inside of it cleaned out really good. So we're going to go from this to this in parchment paper. You guys know I love using parchment paper when I bake. So Right. Now, let me rinse my hand off here. And I'm going to try, try though I might, to flatten that so it'll, yeah, so it'll sit like that and not rock around so much. Same with this one. Just a little bit off of it so it'll sit down and steady. Just like that. All right. Next is our our um, olive oil that we're just gonna pour on the inside, and we're gonna put some salt in there. We're gonna get this in the oven, get it baking. <laughs> That's the green baby. <laughs> He's a little fussy. <laughs> He's letting y'all know he's here. <laughs> okay. Now, we're going to get these in the oven and we're going to bake them for about 40 minutes. set my timer on 40 minutes then we're gonna do something else <laughs> next thing I want to do I've already sliced up some vegetables that we're going to fry up along with I have a half pound of maple uh, I'm actually using breakfast sausage but it's maple flavor so I kind of thought maybe maple along with that acorn squash that maple flavor should taste really good So let's get started with that next. Grab me a skillet out here. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and 
brown up this sausage. So let me, let me go ahead and get this in there. already have our veggies. I have one stalk of celery. I have one fourth of a slice of onion. One fourth of a red bell pepper. And one fourth of a green bell pepper. You know, you uh, adjust this to your needs. And I also have one clove of garlic pressed in there. But after our sausage gets cooked up, then we're going to go ahead and put these veggies in with it. So once that cooks up, I'll, we'll, we'll bring you right back. While our sausage was frying up, I did go ahead and put half a teaspoon of ground sage in it. I don't have any fresh sage, so I did use ground sage. And uh, with the oils from our sausage, we're going to go ahead and pour all these veggies in there and get uh, get them cooking up. We want those onions soft. Delicious. Delicious. did turn my uh, burner down a little bit. I had it on four, but then I turned it down to three because I just want to get a second to get all these veggies incorporated with this sausage. Well, this smells so good. Now, you can get the complete recipe for this on a, a Facebook page of another person I enjoy watching, and it's Farmhouse on Boom for the full recipe. She uses a little bit different, a few things different than, than what I have, but uh, that's why we each, each make it our own. That's how we do that. And pay no mind to the stuff sliding around in the sink. <laughs> all right, and I did put just a little bit of salt in there too, so we're good with all of that. Now, we're gonna let that go ahead and cook. I'm gonna slice an apple. I have half of an apple using a Fuji apple. That's uh, that's what we got, so that's what we're going to use. But we're going to go ahead and slice that up and uh, give it a dice. And then after all of the veggies cook, we're going to go ahead and add our diced apple to the mixture. And again, I only used half an apple. This is for Tom and I. And uh, you can see her full recipe or adjust it however you need to for your family. We're just going to make this bite size. Everything's going to be bite size pieces. Hmm, someone might have to have a bite of this. <laughs> okay. There we go. And, uh, Again, in just a few minutes, we're going to add this to our skillet. After the acorn squash is cooked for 40 minutes, we're going to remove it. And after it has a chance to cool down just a little bit, we're going to remove the insides, but keep the shell. Try to keep the shell intact of the acorn squash. And we're going to add it to this give it a good mix, and then we're going to stuff the acorn squash with all of our goodness over here in this skillet. Oh, plus, plus, um, we actually chose to use some, it's 
whiskey barrel smoked gouda. So that's the cheese that we're going to add to this after it gets cooked. And then we're also going to sprinkle a little bit on the top. It smells great. So once we get this all cooked up, we'll be right back with you. Okay, I'm going to take a scoop and, and get the insides of this out. And we're going to put it right over here in the skillet. Spin that around so that I can get the meat from inside of this one. Go ahead and get this out of the oven. Oh, it looks so nice. Look at there. Yummy. Okay, we're going to let these cool down, and then we're going to have our dinner. So you all take care, and we'll see you next time. Bye.